Warning. I am not responsible or liable for any damage that may happen to your property, animals, or people from what is within this tutorial. The viewer takes full legal and moral responsibility for everything that he or she does. Treat black powder with respect. Before doing anything contained in this video, check all of your local statutes. If you are unsure whether it's legal or not, do not do it. Use common sense to maintain proper safety procedures all the time. Stay safe and have fun making the world's first propellant. Welcome back to the channel, Pyros. It's Mythical Pyro, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to make super fast black powder. Before I start this tutorial, I must inform the viewers of this video. If you are going to try this at home, be very careful and check all of your local laws and restrictions before attempting this. And if you are a kid, do not do this without parental supervision. Okay, so the chemicals you'll need for black powder are 1. Potassium nitrate, 2. Sulfur, and 3. Charcoal. The ratio of these chemicals to make efficient and fast burning black powder is 75% potassium nitrate, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur. The biggest factor in the speed of your black powder is the charcoal. The charcoal must be of softwood variety and it must be a wood that grows extremely quick and is very soft. Now that is only if you want your black powder to be very fast, which is what this tutorial is for. So I will be using Eastern Red Cedar Charcoal that I made from myself out of pet bedding. And if you want to see how to make this charcoal, I can make another video. So now I will show you which methods there are for mixing black powder and the method that I use. The first and one of the simplest methods is by mixing the chemicals through a very fine mesh screen such as this 100 mesh screen. The only problem with this is that your chemicals have to be very fine before doing this and it will never be as fast as using a rock tumbler. But if you need to quickly throw together some black powder that is moderately fast, this method will work fine. But if you're like me and you want to make the fastest and best burning black powder, I'm gay! You are going to have to use a rock tumbler. My rock tumbler is a cheap one I bought from Harbor Freight, and honestly, it is very good and has served me well. I recommend that if you're going to be making black powder, that you buy the same one. Now for the milling media. This is a part of the black powder process that cannot be skimped on. You must use lead. Any other grinding medias that are common and can be bought can spark. So do not use anything else besides lead. There are a few exceptions to that, but I don't recommend them because of their price, their availability, and also they do have a slightly higher chance of causing impact ignition in the mill compared to lead. My mill has approximately a hundred half inch lead balls which is what I recommend for your mill if you have the same size rock tumbler jar as I do. Now I will be pouring my chemicals into the mill jar there we go all of the chemicals are now in the mill and I will seal it up. Okay so now I will turn the mill on I will see you guys back in two hours when the black powder is done milling and I will show you how to granulate it. It's been two hours and I'm gonna now open the mill and see how the black powder looks. I also will now be putting on my respirator and goggles which you should also do if you're going to do this to protect against inhaling small particles or damaging your eyes. Okay so you probably aren't able to hear me too well now but I'm gonna be opening this up. Okay so it's now open and I'm first going to hit the lid off to get a little bit of black powder off of there. Okay, so now I'm going to sift out the black powder. Okay, so now it is sifted out. I'm going to seal my mill up and then take the respirator off. Okay, so now the mill jar is sealed back up and put back on the mill and I have my respirator off. If you want to, you can still wear a respirator, but the biggest concern for when there are many particles in the air is when you initially open the mill. Now, since it's just sitting there, it's pretty much fine, so you don't have to wear a respirator. Now, I will be showing you how to granulate it. Okay, I'm back, and I have it transported into a plastic container, and I also have some gloves on. You're definitely going to want those, and I will now be showing you what to add to this to get it wet for granulation. And before we even start granulation, you must know to granulate, you need a screen. This is about an 8 mesh screen, which is optimal for what I want. You could use like a kitchen mesh, such as the one I have right here, and that will make small granules suitable for other uses. 
but for my uses, that right there, this screen makes the best granule size. Okay, for the granulation, I will be using 91% isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so this step is now where we add the isopropyl alcohol and get the black powder to a consistency that is similar to Play-Doh or dough, so we can rub it across the screen to granulate it. This part is hard considering if you add the wrong amount of alcohol, it'll become more of a slurry and it will not be possible to granulate and you'll have to wait for it to dry out. So what I like to do is separate some of the mill dust into another container before you add the alcohol so that if you mess up and add too much, you can add more mill dust and it'll become more of a ball again. And that will save you from a long time of waiting for drying. I'm now gonna add a small amount of alcohol don't go too crazy, put a decent bit in. You can always add more, you can never take away. So you wanna just put a decent bit in and you definitely wanna wear gloves because you're gonna to wanna to mix this by hand. Okay, we are very close to the perfect consistency. I think I will not add any more mill dust, so I will now granulate it. Okay, so I ended up adding a little more alcohol, and this ball of black powder is the absolute prime consistency. Slight glossy texture, absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna now granulate this across this eight mesh screen. The black powder granules are looking pretty good. There's a few that stuck together, but I can break them up later. So I will see you guys when this is dried and we can test how fast it burns. And just for fun, I will test a little bit right now while it's wet. It's probably gonna be pretty slow, but I actually have heard some people say that a very small amount of moisture helps the burn rate, but I don't think it's true. We will see what happens. Okay, so we're now out on the sidewalk. Let's see how fast this little bit burns. Shouldn't be too quick. Okay guys, so it's about four hours later, and that last clip I'll show for real in a second, so you can see the burn rate of it when it was completely wet. So we'll see how it burns now in comparison to that last clip. We will see how fast it is now. Pretty good probably still a little wet. Okay, so instead of waiting till tomorrow morning to show you guys how this burns when it's completely dry, I have a different batch that I use the exact same ingredients, exact same method to make that I will show you it, it's completely dry now and I'll show you a burn test of that now. Okay, so this is one gram of black powder that is fully dried that I made using the exact same process I showed in this video. Now that is black powder. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to support my channel. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Mythical Pyro signing out.